continued effort to do or achieve something despite the difficulties, despite what you're going through, despite how you're feeling, despite failures. What is grit and how can it be nurtured? So I want to roll into grit. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about grit here. Regret is obviously courage and resolve, right? Strength of character. This is important. Grit is really passion, right? Passion, your four Fs, family, fitness, finance, and faith, and perseverance for long-term goals. That's grit. It's grit, right? Grit is sticking with your future day in and day out. Not just for the week, not just for the month, but for years and working really hard to make that future a reality. So what I found is that the more somebody works on themselves in these three areas that I'm about to talk to you about, the more success I see come their way. I want to give you these secrets because if they can just help one of you take control of your life, take back your life, give you back that pin, then it's worth its weight in gold to me, okay? So if you spent any time studying the greats in business, right, then you probably heard about Milton Hershey, right? So Milton Hershey, obviously the creator of Hershey, dropped out of school in the fourth grade, guys, took a position with a printing company only to be fired. He was an apprentice at the printer company, so he never got paid. Dropped out in the fourth grade, said, hey, I'm going to be a printer. Became an apprentice, a printer, a apprentice as a printer, and then he was fired, okay? So he worked like a couple years there, was fired. And then he became an apprentice as a candy maker. And after studying that business for four years, he went to go try to launch his own business. So he goes to try to launch his own business within just a couple years, boom, failure. He totally failed the company. So what did he do? He went and tried to start another candy business. Within two years, boom, that candy business failed, right? Boom, same thing again. Start another candy business. That one lasted five years, failed. It wasn't, it took 20 years, 20 years of failures before he got his big success with Hershey, okay? Quit school in the fourth grade. Dude had grit. Dude had grit. He would do whatever it took. He failure after failure, getting fired as an apprentice to go over to candy, right? Worked for four years as an apprentice for no money just so he could learn the skill. That's grit, right? Steve Jobs, right? Started Apple in his parents' garage when he was 20 years old. Just 20 years old. Gets fired from his own company at 30. Gets fired. If I got fired from my own company, I don't know what the fuck I would do, right? Gets fired, but keeps the right mindset and stays positive and goes and creates next. Goes and creates Pixlr, right? Or Pixar. It's like a movie thing. But he, he goes and does this thing and he, he grows them so big that Apple turns around and goes, holy fuck, I need to purchase that from you because that's genius. Goes and purchases that from him and then gives him back his job. But eight years later, Eight years after being fired from his own company, right? Richard Branson, you guys know him. This dude performed so freaking bad in school. He was put into Challenge Ed. You guys know what Challenge Ed is, right? So it's like, obviously, it says itself, so I'm not going to explain it. But Challenge Ed, so he's put into Challenge Ed as a child. Um, once he graduates, though, he starts putting his own grit. So he didn't do good in school, obviously. He sucked at school. Hated school, wasn't good there, put into challenge ed, treated like a retard to say to say, say the least. And but he gets gets out of school and instead of going to work for somebody, he immediately starts a magazine and he works his ass off in that magazine, slowly growing it, slowly putting time into it. And then as soon as he gets that up and it can kind of run itself, he goes and then jumps into a recording studio. He builds a recording studio, starts to build that up, right? And then you guys all know about his airline, right? Virgin Airlines. But he's now the fourth richest person in the United States. Goes from being a challenge ed student to being the fourth richest person in the United States. In the United States. Okay? And when, when going through and talking, when they talk grit, if you go and research any of these guys and when they talk grit, these are the things that they they talk about. I want you to grab a pen because I think it's super important that you write these things down and, and work on these things in your life. And the first thing that they talk about is when you have grit, you have to have courage, right? 
So we take so much of our strength and resilience for granted. Courage isn't about being a battle-ready soldier, right? Some days there's courage in saying, tomorrow's another day. I'm going to get up and I'm going to give it another go. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to try um, kicking off Facebook ads. I'm going to try another website build. I'm going to try picking up that phone one more time, shooting one more screencast. I'm going to get in here and give it another go. That's courage. Some of you feel like you're only cur- you, courage is only when you're successful. No, courage is when you get back up. Courage is when you're willing to take another shot. That's it. That's what courage is. So um, I see courage every day inside these groups. And 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 I see the people that are the most courageous. With the, the, they're the, the ones that are deeply passionate about their four Fs. Those people are courageous. They're willing to get up. They're willing to shut door B. They're willing to go after door A and not let nothing and nobody stand in their way every single day. So you need to find some passion, right? And courage for yourselves. Trusting that whatever circumstances that you're in going through right now, right? Whether you got told no a bunch on the phone today, whether you launched a, a website build and the customer said they didn't like it, whatever that is, regardless of whether how you whether you feel courageous or not, you can find courage in yourself. If you just dig below the surface, just like you do on your goals, you will find it. If you dig deep on those four Fs, you will find courage in yourself to get up and give it a fucking shot, right? Um, conscientiousness, okay? This is what they talk about. Conscientiousness, just so you guys know what it is, it's a trait that is commonly associated with awareness, right? Typically, conscientious people are well well organized, right? We're not just running and gunning. We, we know what we want, why we want it, and we go and get it every single day that we get up. Dude, I'll have people stop by my house all the time to come talk to me. I'm so busy in my goals, they have to wait around until everything stops so I can go out and talk to them. That's how organized I am is I don't let people interrupt what the fuck I'm doing because I know what I want and I know how to go get it. Therefore, I'm taking those steps. Only in between those steps when I have a little bit of time will I stop to talk to somebody, right? So they can also demonstrate self-control, right? They plan their time very, very well. And they're all known as great team players. And they do, this is very important, they do more than what's expected, right? They're constantly doing more than what's expected. And I think that's a big one. Look at the winners inside of these groups. Look at the winners. Look at the winners in here. They're doing more than expected. If I told them to shoot 10 screencasts a day for the 30-day challenge to hit $5,000 a month, they're shooting 20. They're trying to outdo me on everything, right? If you tell them to to build a list of 500 people they can prospect, they're building 1,500. They're doing more than expected. If you tell them to build one lead gen, they're building five, right? That's who you need to be. That's who you need to work on being. Do more than expected every single time. And that doesn't just go for your life. You also see them doing more for their customers. They care, like Amanda Myers cares about her customers. She's doing more than expected. She's in there grinding with them. She treats it like it's her business. And those people are the ones that I see winning. Those are the people that are successful in my eyes, right? And then perseverance. They all talked about perseverance. Continued effort to do or achieve something despite the difficulties, despite what you're going through, despite how you're feeling, despite failures, despite picking up the phone and getting told no, despite reaching out on Facebook and getting told fuck off, despite they continue moving forward day after day, moment after moment, they're able to pivot and move and do whatever is necessary to achieve their goals because their goals are deep. Their passion is deep. They want it so goddamn badly, they're not going to let anything stand in their way. So despite difficulties, they are pushing through. They are pushing through any opposition to go and get what they desire. Okay. And that's super important. 